So here we're going to use the Q3 touchscreen unit to image the pelvic floor and have a look at a pelvic floor muscle contraction. The first thing we're going to do is use the probe selection to select our preset for abdominal ultrasound. And this little dot on the ultrasound probe correlates with the left hand side of the screen. So by convention that's supposed to be on the right hand side of the patient. So we're going to line it up here and we're going to look for a transabdominal transverse view. So our probe is in the midline of the patient and we're going to angle it down until we're satisfied that we're looking at the base of the bladder or the postero inferior wall of the bladder. So because we're still quite deep here in this image, we're going to use our knob to adjust the depth. So we're getting a good depth on the image here, but I'm not really satisfied with the quality of the image, so I'm just going to change the frequency from general to tissue harmonic imaging penetration mode. So this is going to give us a nice, crisp, clear image. And what we're looking at here is the bladder and the fluid within the bladder. And we're looking at the pelvic floor fascia. So we're not actually visualising the pelvic floor muscles, but by movement of the fascia, we're going to be able to um, observe a pelvic floor muscle contraction and what's happening there. So first of all, we're going to give the patient a couple of chances to contract their pelvic floor. So what I'd like you to do is to relax everything first of all. And just imagine like you're going to the toilet and passing urine and you want to stop all of a sudden and hold it in. Okay, and we can see a rise at the postero inferior wall of the bladder and that tells us that the pelvic floor muscles are contracting. And relax again. Perfect. Now, if we want to try and quantify that, what we can do is use the mouse here and we're going to hit the right click button to bring up our measurement menu. And then we're just going to make sure that the probe is nice and stable. Okay, are you comfortable and relaxed? Yes. We're going to put our marker here at the base of the bladder. And I'll just get you to do a contraction again for me. Hold it there, hold it there. And we're going to freeze that. And that's going to tell us about the movement of the pelvic floor. So in this case, we've got a movement of 0.34 centimetres. And if we want to save that for our patient files, we just hit the save button down the bottom here, and it's going to show up here for us for review later. Now if we want to have a look at the sagittal view, all we do is we flip the probe, so we're still in the midline. We've got the dot of the probe facing the patient's head, and we're going to Again, bring the probe down into the midline here. What we're going to be looking at is the postero inferior wall of the bladder here. And just obscured by the pubic bones is the bladder neck. Okay. Now, in this position, it's important not to put too much pressure on the probe, otherwise it's going to affect the image and what appears. But I'll just get you to again do a pelvic floor muscle contraction for me. And what we should see here is the postero inferior wall of the bladder again going superior and the anterior and relax. Great. Okay. And one more time. Fantastic and relax. And again if we right click on here we can Create our marker just at this spot. And I'll get you to do a contraction again for me. Okay, and in this case we've got that movement 0.25 centimetres posterior, sorry, supero anterior movement. 